First practice, take these three molecules and see if you can draw the Lewis structures for them. Then come on back and we'll work through them. All right, if you're back, well, boron with three chlorines. As a general rule for small molecules, you tend to have one center atom and then several things attached to it. So if you ever see one atom followed by multiple of another, it is almost certain the first one is your center. So we probably have boron with chlorines around it. Let's put our electrons on. Boron has three. Chlorines have seven. They're in the halide column like fluorine. So we spread them out first, then we pair them up. Once we have all the atoms and all the electrons, we start to bond. And there we go. Everything's got its electrons paired. So we have boron with three chlorines. We'll leave the chlorine lone pairs off for the moment, just to show the three bonds to boron. Now this one is an oddity. We haven't talked about octet rule yet, but boron only has six electrons around it. You'll notice everything else always has eight, except hydrogen. As we get to our next molecule, well, I've got a carbon with multiple other things. Well, chlorines can only make a single bond, so they can't connect to multiple things. Hydrogens can only make a single bond, so they can't connect to multiple things. Carbon can make many bonds, so carbon is certainly our center atom. I'm going to have carbon. It's going to have its four electrons. And then I'm going to have some hydrogens. I'm going to have some chlorines. Put the seven electrons on my chlorines. Put the one on my hydrogens. Now, in theory... I could connect my chlorine and my hydrogen. But if I did that, they're done. They just make their own little HCl, and that's it. They can't connect to anything else. They're not part of this molecule. So while it is possible to connect hydrogen and chlorine, it won't allow us to make one large molecule with this formula. So they must not connect to each other, which means the only other option is to connect to the carbon. And so you end up with a carbon with some hydrogens on it and some chlorines on it. And it doesn't matter what your directionality is at this point. We haven't learned anything about shapes, but I'll tell you that these are equivalent molecules. Drawing them flat Lewis structure isn't quite what we'll see when we do geometries. And so the flat drawing, whether they're on opposite sides or at right angles, is really the same drawing. All we care about is that they are attached to that center carbon by a single bond, and that is true for both of these versions. Carbon dioxide. Well, I've got one element followed by multiple of another, so carbon is almost certainly our center again. I have a carbon, I have an oxygen, I have an oxygen. Four electrons on carbon, six electrons on the oxygen. I pair once. I pair once. Well, I still have unpaired electrons. There's still one hanging out here on oxygen. There's two hanging out on carbon. There's one hanging out on oxygen. Unpaired electrons just need to pair. So... I can pair between the atoms again. The fact that I've already paired to one atom doesn't matter as long as there are still free unpaired electrons. And so carbon gets a double bond to each oxygen. Double bonds, triple bonds, these are possible. Just depends on the organization of the atoms in the molecule. And so this would be the Lewis structure for carbon dioxide.